when we're in a flex timing mode, so if I go to monophonic, if I wanted to create a new transient marker, we saw that I have this handy new icon that tells me that it's going to create a transient marker. When we're in flex pitch mode, it's a little different. As you see, i am still just got a pointer, and if I double click, it doesn't really do anything except take me into the sample editor. So I need a way that I can tell Logic, hey, there's actually a note here. And one way I can do it is to grab a pencil tool and I click and hold and that blue line that you see to the right, I pull it over until it reaches the point that I want it to stop and give me a note. So there's one note. Now I'll try and detect another note. See, it did not detect it because it didn't see a difference in pitch. So I'll go a little bit to the right, and there we go. There's another note. The only problem is, if I listen to it, it does not sound right at all. The reason for this is that when I selected the, when I created a new note there, it did not give me the pitch base that that note is at. Since Logic didn't detect it automatically, Logic doesn't have any idea what this actual pitch is. In order to do that, in order to get in and change the pitch a little bit more granularly, I'm going to have to open up the track view. But before I do, I'm just going to undo a couple of times and talk about using flex mode in the main window. When we're in the main window, we can actually go through and create rough edits to our pitch by just selecting one of these lines. <laughs> and moving it to zero. Okay, so like the zero point line here, that's where it's going to say, okay, Logic's going to just bring that into what it thinks is in tune. You can select multiple nodes just by holding down Shift and selecting a whole bunch of these. I can actually select the whole thing. And then if I select and hold on any one of the notes and bring it towards the center, they will all come to the center. Let's see how close that came. We knew, we felt, we saw, ignored it all. We held so tight, survival's all that got us through. We knew, we felt, we saw, ignored it all. We held so tight. Survival's all that got us through. That was actually pretty darn close for being a completely rough, blind edit. If I uh, undo, we can have a listen to what the original vocal was. We knew, we felt, we saw, ignored it all. We held so tight. Survival's all that got us through. We knew. We felt. As you see, it actually came really close when it did that rough tuning. So that's pretty cool. In the main window, if we might be able to just nip it in the bud and not even have to go to the track view. But to get things done right, we're going to have to go into the track view and make sure that we have all of the notes selected that we need, clip any notes that it may not have found any uh, difference between the starting of one note and the next note, and we're going to need to clean that all up in the track view, which we're going to go over next.